The Chipko movement, started in the 1970s in India, was a non-violent movement aimed at the protection and conservation of trees and forests in the Himalaya from being destroyed. The name Chipko came from the word embrace, as the villagers used to hug trees and protect them from woodcutters. It all started when Gora Devi led 27 village women to a logging site and confronted the tree cutters. But when all talking failed, the women resorted to hugging the trees to stop them from being felled. They kept an all-night vigil guarding the trees. More people joined in the next day and the next. Finally, after a four-day standoff, the contractors left. In fact, the story of fiercely protecting trees and wild animals in India started in 1485 AD. In the northwestern part of India, in present-day Rajasthan, a saint, Guru Jambeshwar, started a religion, Vishnuism. It was based on 29 principles of environment and wildlife protection and conservation. The people who followed the religion came to be known as Vishnois. The key principles of the Vishnois was not to cut green trees and to be compassionate for all living beings, even wild animals. But the event, which is probably the world's greatest conservation story, happened around 150 years later, in 1730 AD. The local king, Abhay Singh, needed wood to construct his palace in the present-day city of Jodhpur. So he reversed his father's earlier order banning tree cutting in the Bishnoi villages and sent a team of woodcutters with his soldiers to a nearby village, Kejarli. Here, the kingsmen started felling what Bishnois consider most sacred, Kejri trees. This prompted a woman named Amrita Devi to protest. Seeing that her protests were falling on deaf ears, Amrita Devi clung to a tree and said her now famous words, I am willing to sacrifice my head to protect a tree. Soldiers being soldiers and following the king's orders decapitated her. On seeing this, Amrita Devi's three daughters came forward, clung to the Kejri trees and offered their heads as well. They were killed too. The villagers, one by one, Bishnoi men, women and children, started clinging to trees, each offering their heads. In all, 363 Bishnois gave up their lives before the news of the many day long massacre reached Abhay Singh, who ordered his army to step down. He restored the earlier ban on tree cutting and hunting in Bishnoi villages. A temple and memorial to honor those who sacrificed their lives was built and 363 Kejri trees were planted at the massacre site. Sundarlal Bahuguna, a noted environmentalist and his wife, turned the Chipko movement into a nationwide initiative in the 70s. Women were the main drivers of the movement. This ultimately led to a total government ban on cutting trees for 15 years in India. The movement has been replicated all over India for decades since. And even today, in Maharashtra, Karnataka, West Bengal, Gujarat, Delhi, everywhere. Today, we are in a state of climate emergency. The world is waking up to the fact of denudation of forests and how all of our life is affected adversely by the loss of this ecological balance. The Chipko slogan was, Ecology is Permanent Economy. Very true in this day of uncertain economies and a bleak future. Come on, let's all hug.